Hey guys, welcome to Desk Jockey Physio, where we help active desk folks feel and move better. My name is Mitch Starkman. I'm an F-Camped registered physiotherapist and sports medicine clinic owner here in Toronto. Thanks for stopping by. Hey everyone, two quick updates before we jump into today's video. Number one, we have a free giveaway today. If you head over to deskjockeyphysio.com guide, you can download your five-step guide of how to set up the perfect laptop home office, which you can do right here, okay? And number two, we are now offering online physiotherapy sessions for you folks out there. To learn more about that, head over to deskjockeyphysio.com online, and we'll see you there. All right, otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Out to our whole kind of listserv now to offer anybody else this as well. And if you guys have friends or family or anyone you want to share it with, let us know. We can add their emails to the list and we can send it out to them every week as well because we're doing this anyway. We'd love to have as many people as we can um, jump on with us. So what we're going to need for today, guys, before we jump in is a foam roller or a rolled up towel, one of the two, a massage or release ball, and a resistance band all right so you guys can grab that get that handy something cushy for your knees i have a beautiful pink uh, yoga mat and if you guys have that you can lay a towel down something like that i'll wait for everyone to get get those things and then we'll get started in just a minute um for those of you guys who don't know my name is mitch uh starkman i'm a physiotherapist at synergy and jesse um i don't know if he's on camera still he can he can wave um <laughs> that's jesse wayness he is one of the squad as well. Um, I'll be leading you guys today through all the movement stretches, and Jesse's going to be kind of moderating any questions you can ask in the chat, as well as he'll be the one sort of guiding and watching your guys' form and technique, and he'll be yelling out um, things as well to us as we go to make so, sure. So if I, say your, if I say your name or if I make a suggestion, it's just kind of applying either to individually if I see something I want to see corrected or as a group. That's all. Awesome. Any questions, guys, before we jump into today? Nope. Okay. So just to kind of get things ready and kind of warmed up here, guys, we're going to go into just a gentle child's pose again, just to kind of calm things down. Today we're focusing on neck and shoulder tightness for Synergy Live. So if you have any discomfort in your knees at all, you can just take this and wrap this around so you have something nice to cushy and sit on. We're just going to kind of sit back here like this. Now, as we're just breathing here and hanging out, what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to give you guys two options for every exercise, okay? A more challenging one and an easier and an easier option. I'll describe both, and then we'll do them together, okay? While you're doing them, we might offer some feedback if you do have your camera on to you as we go. Now, we have two cameras that are live, one here and the main one here. So I'll be addressing this one the most, but if you do want a side view or you can't quite see, what you can simply do is head over and check out this one um, on the other side to get another view, okay? So just some deep breathing here, guys. In and out. We're just kind of relaxing, sinking into this position a little bit. Let your arms kind of fall up in front and your head just sort of drop down. Let it totally relax and hang side to side. A lot of neck tension headaches this time of year for sure. We're all kind of getting comfortable and used to living in our home 24 hours a day. 23 hours a day. Go for a walk, right? Go to the grocery store. Good. All right. Keep one more time. And now let that head fall and kind of forehead just sort of sink on the ground. Okay. Hope everyone's feeling good. A little bit loose. Head just hanging down nice and relaxed. Okay. All right, so let's get started today, guys. Number one thing for neck pain and stiffness is working on the upper back, okay? Our neck tends to hang out on a stiff upper back like this. And so if we can get the upper back to extend and open up, we'll be much more comfortable in our neck position. So we're gonna start there and we're gonna work our way up. So option one, the easier option here, you're gonna take a towel and roll it up in a tube like this, nice and firm, okay? With the roller, you're gonna just replace this. So what this is gonna do is you're gonna hang it perpendicular or kind of in line with, depending on your comfort. And you're gonna just hang back, knees bent, 
hands, either giving yourself a hug or supporting your neck. And just gently lean back and breathe here in this position until you feel the stretch fade and you're going to go ahead and move next level down and up here. And hang, and we're going to move up as we go. For those of you that have a foam roller, we're going to simply replace that. Hands behind your head. And you're going to just roll back and forth, opening up the muscles in this area. You can rest the bum down and arch up like this. So with the roller, you're going to get a little more of a stretch. But if you have any back pain or discomfort or stiffness with this, you might want to go down to using a towel roll. Okay? Any questions about that, anybody? Okay. So let's jump into that. So you go ahead and pick either your towel roll or your foam roll. We're going to do this for two minutes, guys. And if you're using the towel or the foam roller, just arch back and breathe and out. And just let that stretch kind of sink in. Up again, you can rock. Remember, the goal of this is to try to stretch out the upper part of your back. You don't want this to kind of compress or be painful. And you also don't want to let your lower back loose. You want to keep this engaged down and just move the upper back. And stretch it. Working different angles a little bit. I'm just going to switch here to the foam roller. Keep doing whatever you're comfortable with. Jesse, how are people looking? People are looking pretty good so far. We can only see a couple of cameras, but so far, we're going to look pretty good. Good. So we're rocking up. And then as you kind of work one spot, you're going to move one level higher. So you move a little bit up, almost like one vertebrae higher on the upper back. And the same thing. Arch and extend. And rock. Harry, Paul, move your camera down a little bit. There you go. And up, good. And the next level up. You want to go just as high as above the shoulder blades. You'll kind of run out of real estate at that point. Now, for everyone, whether you're using the towel or the yoga mat, okay, or the or towel, towel or the foam roller, sorry, I want you to bring up the roller at the top of the shoulder blades, okay? And then once you're up there, I want everyone's hands behind your head supporting it. Then what I want you to do is arch back, and now we're going to lift the hips up, okay? So with the hips up in the air and the head nice and relaxed and the neck and the shoulders supported, you're going to actually slowly drop your bum down. This should feel a stretch in the bit higher up in the upper back over the roller or the towel, okay? Nice and slow and comfortable. If you can only go up a little bit, that's totally fine. It's nice and controlled. And this is just a nice way to stretch the upper part right where the base of the neck meets the shoulder blades. That's where you want to feel this. And you can kind of rock different angles a little bit. Sure. Good. Your head Are we all rolled out, guys? Hold on. Sorry, Pauline. What was your question there? Your hands have touched the ground. No, your head doesn't. Your head, your head doesn't have touched the ground. Okay. Thank you. Your head stays straight. There you go. All right. Good. So on to our next one here. Everyone kind of get up and just sort of feel that looseness or that upper back see if you can get your head on a little more straight after that uh, a bit more upright now next up here guys we want to actually use that rotation so we're going to do two options here again okay option two the more challenging ones in child's pose position option one is in a seated position so for those of you that are either sitting on the ground or in a chair all you're simply going to do is sit up as tall and straight as you can so up nice and tall Give yourself a great big hug and just try to rotate as far as you can towards one side. Feel the stretch. Take a deep breath in, out, go a little further, and come back to middle. And over to that side again. Again, this can be done in a chair as well or on the couch just as easily. For those of you that want to take this up a little bit more challenging, what you can do is jump into child's pose. So this one down like this. And again, you can use a pad here underneath uh, your knees if you like. And all you're going to do here is rock down in a child's pose behind your head. And you're going to rotate up in this position. We call these windshield wipers or, or openers in like this, okay? So those are our two options. You can pick which one you're more comfortable with. You should feel a stretch between the shoulder blades, the ribs moving, okay? 
So options one or two. I'm going to get started in this position here. What I want to see you guys do is 10 for each side. Okay? Let's go ahead and start with that. So up, and we're going to open up. Deep breath guys, in think, and come of, back. think of following your elbow with your eyes. Yeah, you think about, you want to follow that all the way up. And the other great point here is your spine should stay vertical. I'm not, if I show this way, as you're doing this, you're not doing this. It's not a bend. It's a straight rotation. Strict rotation of the upper back, not a bend. To Jesse's point, looking with your eyes and your elbow as you go. Good. That looks great, guys. It should be about 10. Now we're going to go ahead and switch to the other side. Okay. A few more, a few more. Yeah. Good. Good job, Hello. guys. Good job, Alexis, Pauline, Mary Paul. Looks really good. That's great. You, can, you, you might even feel the stretch in the front of your chest as well. Good. And we're going to go, as soon as you're done, you can jump over and do just 10 more on the other side. Deep breaths. There should be no pain or discomfort, like Jesse was saying. A stretch in the front of the chest, in between the shoulder blades. Nice, comfortable, but it should feel stiff at the end in a good way. Like you've been waiting for it all day kind of way. Back good and deep breath in again. Make sure your neck is relaxed in this position. You want to be comfortable and controlled, loose, side to side. Good work, guys. I'm going to just switch over to do the seated version a little bit here, but... Keep going with whatever version you're doing. Here. Deep breath in and out. Good. Back. Now you might notice a bit of a different stretch between the seated version and this child's pose position. And that's a good thing. It might feel a little bit differently. The child's pose position allows you to lock the lower back a little bit better and focus more on the upper back. They both do a great job. Good. You guys all look great. And keep going. Deep breath in and out. And in and out. Great. And just shake it out, guys. That's good stuff. We're feeling loose and mobile here. I like it. So next up, everybody, if you can get yourselves your the cross balls or massage balls or torture tool of choice, it could be a tennis ball, massage ball, um, dog toy. Worst case, um, you can even use you know something like a an old um, a rolled up towel in that spot. So. Again, I will show you guys two options here. The first one a little bit easier and the second one a little bit more challenging, okay? The first option here, you're going to get yourself a ball and you're going to put that into the back of the shoulder blade. So it's going to be here in the upper part of the back. Now, where this is going to be fitted is anywhere in the meaty part between the spine and the, shoulder, and the tip of the shoulder blade, anywhere in there. And we're going to use the wall for this. So for those of you that are kind of doing level one, this is going to go up. I'll kind of kneel so you can see into the wall and I'm going to just find a spot where I've got some good pressure and I'm going to just kind of roll back and forth on there. Once I find that good spot, I can move my neck left or right to left in this situation or my arm up and down. We'll sort of do both. Okay. And the option for my folks that are doing level two is get that ball into the upper part of the shoulder here. And you can put as much weight or as little weight as you want as you rock back and forth on it. And again, we'll use the arm and the neck. All right? So get into position here, whether you're standing or laying on your back. And what we're going to do to start with is just roll side to side on whatever position you're in. Just gently back and forth. Roll on that. Get nice and comfortable as you do this. And then once you find a nice little 
sticky spot, what you're going to do is take your arm on that same side, whether you're standing or on the ground, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, bring that arm up overhead. As that arm comes up, you're going to feel compression over the ball. It's going to feel amazing and nasty at the same time. Come back down and again, all the way back up. And you're working at different angles here, guys. Come across your body with the next arm. You come up. And straight over the head. And up. And keep going here. Ooh, feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> Other side. Other angle. Now, keep the ball there. Find another spot, guys, that feels tender or tight. And then what I'd like you to do is now use your neck. So you're going to actually take your neck and you're going to bring it over to the side and back. So you're going to gently kind of pull it away from the ball and feel the stretch gently pick up on the muscle as you move towards the outside with your ear. I hear cracking. Is that okay? No. Yeah, I do hear some cracking on someone's end there. I'm not sure, Jesse, if you know, can tell whose bike that is. Do you mean is it the, the mic cracking or, or your bones? Bones. Oh, like a, like a joint pop? That's, a, that, that's very normal. Okay. Is there, any, is there any pain associated with it? No. You're good. You're good. Good. Okay, guys. Great. Now, if that should feel nice and loose, now we're going to go ahead and switch sides. I'm actually going to show this option on the wall, but for anyone else doing it, it's going to be the same as we did before. Okay? So up here against the wall, you're going to go ahead and add that pressure or compression onto that ball. And again, find that trigger point and the arm is going to go up overhead. If you're doing this on the ground, stay on the ground. That's okay. Use as much pressure as you need. And up. Oh, it feels so nasty and so good. And come back up. Deep breath in. Out. Really work your way up the top of the shoulder blade. Good. Now, if you're on the ground, you can think about raising your bum up a little bit to add a bit more compression. If you're sitting, think about leaning back a little bit harder into the wall and feel that upper trap just get kind of massaged and worked through as you do this. Great. All right. Now, next up here, what we're going to do is let that arm relax down at your side, no matter what position you're in. And we're going to go ahead and gently bring the chin over to the side and over. And you should feel as the head comes away, a stretch pull in the muscle as you do this. It should be a gentle pull, nice and comfortable. A couple of quicks or cracks are okay, but no pain. And as we're doing this, guys, remember, we want about a one to three out of 10 pain with this or discomfort, not more than that. Should be slow, controlled. And comfortable. Okay. Good. And roll out those shoulder blades, guys. Hopefully, that's feeling a heck of a lot looser. Now. It, it feels awesome. Good. Good. Happy to hear that. So, roll out those shoulders. Now, next one up here, guys, we're going to see if we can get into something called chin tucks okay this is a way you can sort of do a technique that in clinic we often do to people and for this one here what we're going to do is the movement there's only one level for this okay is we're going to tuck the chin down and you're going to use one hand to grab the crown of your, your your head and the other one to gently come just where you if you had a mustache where that hand would go and you're going to just gently tuck and while you tuck, you're going to add a little bit of extra pressure with this hand and this hand. So just gentle pressure. And what you should feel is a little bit of a stretch here in the base of the neck. So the movement is a bit of a swivel as you press down and you so rock. Try not to look down here, everyone. The motion is straight back, so don't, don't look down. 
And if I show in this angle, what Jesse's describing is not like this, not like this. It's there. Much better, much better. Good adjustment there. And hold guys, and I want you to count for 12 of these. Think, think of lengthening the back of your neck. Yeah, if you had a rope attached to the base of your head right here and it's pulling you, that's the kind of tuck we want to see happening here as you gently kind of pull yourself towards the ceiling. Nice and controlled. Good. And take a little bit of a rest there. We're going to do one more set of those. For this one, you can do this exercise in the day in your car if you're driving alone, obviously, or at any of these times, you can do these chin tucks, but adding a little bit of your hand can help add a little bit more compression to it. So we're going to take a quick rest, guys. We're going to do that one again. Okay. See if you can get as tall and high as you can while you do it. So up here, chin up and down and tuck. Keep going, guys. Keep doing that. That looks really good. Make sure you're not going too far back. So make sure you're not doing this. You don't have to go all the way back up. You're just tucking and back to middle. Tucking and back to middle. Nice and controlled. Get to 12 here, guys. This is a lot of people's favorite. When you figure out how to do it well. If you have headaches or neck stiffness that's persistent up there, it can really irritate things and bug things. It's a really nice way to open up the base of the neck. Good. All right. You guys feeling good still? Yeah? Feeling okay. really good. All right. So let's get into some strength work here all right so we're gonna have everyone grab onto your resistance band all right now this one you can do standing you can do it sitting any position that is comfortable all right you're gonna go ahead and grab onto that band wrap it around your hands like so now for this one there's no levels okay you can just use the band that is most the appropriate level for you if it's too hard you can unwrap and go a little further if it's too easy you can grab a little tighter or upgrade your band all right so holding here, elbows together, we're going to go ahead and twist out like this. All right. Now, notice I'm not straightening my arms. I'm just twisting out to the side and coming back. Twisting straight out and coming back. Now, my neck is nice and tall as I do this, guys, so I'm not here. All right. I am using this new flexibility and twisting out. I want everyone doing 10 of these slow controlled reps and back keep going slow and controlled good work and let's go for one more and rest good now, for this one, you want to feel this into the upper part of your shoulder blades on both sides and the back of the shoulder. You're really trying to focus on getting that good shoulder rotation out to the side as you do this. So you can shake that out a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do another set of these, okay? Again, up nice and tall, holding onto that band, and twist out. Now, I want to see you guys control it back to middle. So yeah, when, you, when you bring the band back, bring it back slow. Don't let the band control you. You control the band. Yeah. We see some people doing that. I want to see it up and controlled back. Up and controlled back. If, you, if it hurts your knees, you, could, you don't have to do it kneeling. You can do it sitting on your butt as well. Mm -hmm. Or even standing. Or standing, if you prefer. You don't want to do it on your knees. Good. Good job, guys. And relax it. Awesome. 
Alexis, is that band behind your back? Okay. Put it in front of you. All right. We have one more set of those guys. We can go for three. It's our only strength exercise for today. And then we have some stretches to end things off. So grab that band one more time. We're really burning out the shoulders today. Make them work because sometimes weakness there can actually feel like tightness in the neck. Yeah. Get that, get that band nice and tight to start. Yeah. Try winding it up one more round than you did last time. And twist out for this last set. Almost hold it at the end for a beat. Hold, 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 and then back. Twist out and hold. Back, good. Great. Three more. You should feel this in the back of the shoulder blades. And one more. Awesome. Whew, good. Great work. Okay. So now, guys, we're almost getting close to the end here. I want to just give it up some stretches here to open things up. So for this, you can do this sitting. You can do this standing um, or cross-legged like myself. What we're going to do, guys, is stretch out this upper trap muscle here on both sides. You're going to take the side you're stretching. You're going to take that hand. You're going to put it underneath your butt and sit on that hand to anchor it down. Then what we're going to do with your other hand is reach up and grab your ear. And gently pull your head away and get a gentle stretch on the shoulder. And you're going to hold that. Now be careful that you're not pulling down or back. It's just straight on. Very gentle pull. You're going to hold that for 15 seconds. And that's 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, and come back up and just relax. And then what we're going to do is actually switch sides. So now you're going to pin your other side down, reach up, and gently pull over and hold that. Four, five. Take a deep breath in, guys. As you breathe out, go a little further. Very gentle stretch. Good. And relax back. It's a middle now. Remember, we have lots of super small blood vessels that run through our neck. You do not want to kink or crank on this area. These should be gentle held stretches. No tingling, no numbness, nothing like that. If you do, this back off on the stretch. That might be something for us to talk about. Um, or we do offer one-on-one -on -one virtual sessions as well. Um, that might be something we want to talk about in one of those sessions. So don't push into this if you have any tingling or numbness. And hold back to the other side. Deep breath in and out. Good. Hold it just gently. In again and out. Good. And relax it back. And one more time. Anchor that hand down on the opposite side. And over, deep breath in, and out. If you want, you can close your eyes a little bit and just kind of enjoy it. Just let that tension go. Deep breath in, and out. Good. And back to middle. Okay. One last stretch here today, guys. So if everyone's feeling good, what we're going to do is take that chin and bring it down towards the opposite shoulder. We call this the armpit stretch. So same thing, take that hand and you're gonna put it underneath your bum, hand behind the head, and we're gonna just gently pull down, anchoring that shoulder blade in towards your armpit. You're on an angle, again, gentle stretch, and you wanna feel this in the top of the shoulder blade. As you pull your your head, your chin towards your armpit, think of pulling or dropping the opposite shoulder down to the floor. That's right. We don't want to see this shoulder come up as you go. This shoulder that's anchored should 
be kind of pinned or driving down to really pick up that stretch. And back up, good. And then the same thing, anchor the opposite side here. Keep that, go ahead. Keep that shoulder and down. down and pull. And pull down right in towards your armpit. You can play with the angle a little bit. Your hand is grabbing at the base of your cranium. Try to get your whole kind of back of your, your, your skull in the palm of your hand. As you drive that opposite shoulder blade down. Good. And back to middle. And just kind of relax. Great work, guys. We've got one more round of those to do. As we kind of rock. Hope everyone's necks are feeling a little bit looser. A little more ready to take on the day. One more time. Let's go ahead and start with our right side again. Put that right hand down. And remember, guys, any of these stretches you can take with you. You can do these guys throughout the day when you're feeling a little bit tightness or soreness. But as the weeks go on, we're going to try to use some similar exercises and different exercises to kind of add and grow to this. Now, as we're finishing up here, as I mentioned at the start, we are hoping to do a regular schedule of this. We want to sh kind of share this as many people as we can. So if you have any friends, family that are stuck at home and you think they'd benefit from us helping with these, um, they are absolutely free. And, and so feel free to email us with their emails um, and we can add them to the list so they can kind of join in as well at switch sides. Deep breath in and out. And as we continue to work the kinks out of these online pieces with the internet and audio and all of these things, um, we've really appreciated people emailing us with feedback and ideas. One of the biggest things being to have a regular schedule, which we're hoping to this solves. But if you have any other comments or questions, please uh, email us and, and, and it really helps us get better. Good. Whew. I'm feeling loose. You can do some shoulder rolls to the back. Ten gentle shoulder rolls back. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. It's been a pleasure um, having you having you with us. Thank you. Thank you. What? Just one more reminder to what uh, my colleague Mitch said. If you have any friends or anyone else you think would benefit from this, just all you have to do is have them email us at Synergy East at synergysportsmedicine.com and we can get them on the list so they can join us too. And for anyone who, if you are feeling any increased pain or would like some more specialized care for your particular problem, we are also offering online virtual physical therapy. And if you have any questions about that, also feel free to email us. We're happy to help that way too.